This week on Latter-day News. <laughs> what stakes float won first place in the Days of 47 parade? And later, keep track of all the church member athletes in the Tokyo Olympics. But first, the headlines. Grand Marshal Elder Rasband, with his wife Melanie and other family members hopped into a convertible red Mustang to lead the Days of 47 parade. Last year, the parade was canceled due to the pandemic. Also, over 12 local stakes and their members volunteered hundreds of hours to create the floats used in the Days of 47 parade. The theme of the parade was Pioneer Spirit Alive Today, but it was the South Jordan Garden Stake that won the Sweepstakes Award, scoring the highest marks in all categories for their Echo Canyon Pioneers. Mother Deborah of the Bonner family brought together some very talented voices to cover the song Together from the group For King and Country. In the music video, Deborah's Unity Gospel Choir sings behind her son Yehosh Bonner and other very talented singers. The collaboration speaks for itself. This photo of these two adorable cousins, Tiancum and Mormon, went viral five years ago. Now the boys are ready for a new chapter in their life as they get baptized. We hope that Latter-day News can share their mission call photos sometime in the future. Do hereby declare July 23rd, 2021 as President M. Russell Ballard Day in Utah. Congratulations, President Ballard. Utah State Governor Cox declared July 23rd President Russell M. Ballard Day. Several dignitaries spoke at the event and Governor Cox made it known that the special day was set apart for President Ballard, who at 92 has dedicated his life to community, bridge building, and making all faiths feel welcome in the state. There appears to be no end to Sally Carmichael in sight. As the summer continues to heat up, you can cool down inside with a funny family comedy. We love you, Sally Carmichael. It follows Simon, who was so embarrassed about writing a young adult romance novel series that he uses a woman's pen name. How long can he keep this up until his secret is revealed? Find out when you watch the film on Living Scripture Streaming. And that is the headlines. And now Latter-day News ends with a stop in Tokyo to profile the Olympic athletes that are also members of the church. Smith is in trouble, the world record holder. Can she come back? It's going to be White. Ryan White in lane three, who was second in the 100 back. And Phoebe Bacon coming on in five, will touch for second and make the team. Ryan White, who has never competed internationally, qualified for Tokyo, finishing second place in the 100 meter backstroke. But the biggest shock was taking first place in the 200 meter while beating the world record holder in that event. Victoire une 44-90. Ah, ça doit être un 45 du haut, peut-être 46. Peter Ball qui l'emporte. Then from Australia, we have Peter Bull, who won the 2016 National Championship, and he has qualified for the Olympics in the 800 meter. Now let's look at three powerful women competitors and a deadly one. Sarah Robles holds two American records in weightlifting and took a bronze medal in Rio. Nini 
Mauna Moa is also a weightlifter in her first Olympics and will be the first woman in history to represent Tonga. Valerie Adams throws shot put for New Zealand. She already has two gold medals from Beijing and London. Finally, look out for Lexi Lagan, who will be competing for Team USA in the Air Pistol event. And if those are still not the events you want to watch, we may have you covered as members are competing in volleyball, basketball, soccer, and rugby. After I kept doing it, my parents saw that I had some talent in it, and so I kept doing it, and, and now here I am. Thank you, Bob. Two male swimmers, Jared Arroyo from Puerto Rico and Josue Dominguez will both be in the Olympics for the first time. Then from the U.S. volleyball team, Taylor Sanders, who received a bronze in Rio and Jake Gibb, a sand volleyball player. This will be his fourth Olympic games. Two more female athletes are Leilani Mitchell playing basketball for Australia and Bruna Benitez will play soccer for Brazil. This might be another one, Gugadze trying to stop him, there will be no stopping him, Randranja into the corner. Finally, two rugby players, professional rugby powerhouse Simi Radradra from Fiji who was married in the Suva Fiji Temple, and Jordan Matias who will compete for Team USA. Keep an eye on all the member athletes during the Olympics. Next week on Latter-day News. My hope is that as people view these Book of Mormon videos, they'll have a firm knowledge and know that Jesus is the Christ, the Savior of the world. That's my hope, is that it helps people begin that path. New films for the Book of Mormon will feature Christ's visit to America. Come back every Friday for more Latter-day News.